guys and welcome back to my channel or if it is your first time here then hi I'm Shelby it's very nice to meet your acquaintance and if you're like one of the 42 subscribers that we have then welcome back it's good to have you here thanks for subscribing and if you haven't already just go ahead and hit that little button down below and uh, make this thing official and become a member of our little family so if you guys haven't already guessed it, I will be doing a first impressions on the Alme Healthy Glow self tanner slash foundation uh, thing. If you would like to see my thoughts on uh, this foundation and how I like it and how it held up, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Oh my gosh guys, welcome to my naked face. Yes, I am very aware that I am looking very warm right now. Uh, I fake tanned on Sunday night. I use Loving Tan in the two hour, the shade dark, but I let it sit on my skin for like four hours. And it's what I've noticed has helped stay on my skin all week without me having to reapply because the eight hour ones, for whatever reason, just like, it doesn't stay on my skin for as long as the two hour formulas, but I like to be darker. So we always have my face looking like this for a few days, so I apologize for that. So today I'm going to be testing out doing a first impressions on the All My Healthy Glow Makeup and Gradual Self Tanner. So as you can tell, I do put uh, self tanner on my face. It does not make me break out like some people do, but I will say because I wash my face twice a day, my fake tan on my face always starts fading before the rest of my body therefore I'm leaving myself with like a ghostly pale face and the rest of my body tan so typically in the middle of the week I will put a face tanner on at nighttime and I will wake up and be all bronzed however I there is a reason why I use the two hour self tanner it is because I have a husband and he does not like the fact that our sheets that we got for our wedding uh, get stained. So I do not like to stain my sheets. So always when I have to wear the face tanner because it is on my face and because it is an eight hour product, it will get all over my sheets. So I decided that I would try it this little guy and if this works then I just won't ever have to have that problem anymore. Where I first actually heard about this was Marie Claire put out a YouTube video that one of the girls who I went to high school with actually is the model in um, and she was using this product and I was like hmm that's an interesting idea. I picked up the shade 200 light medium. The downside to this, the big downside to this, is the fact that there's only three shades. I bought this for I believe $15.29 at my Rite Aid. Now I feel like everything in California is just way more expensive. I've heard that it retails for $15, I've heard it retailed for $14, I've heard it retailed for $13. So it is up there in price for a drugstore foundation. Currently I am using the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation still and the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation and those have been my favorite and those only retail for like like five to ten dollars so the fact that this is fifteen dollars like are you made of gold so I have already primed my face and I have all my skincare on I have my sunscreen on I am breaking out a little bit right in here I've been using these Smashbox um, their original primer that everybody loves and it makes me break out and I really like it on my skin but it makes me break out and I've known this for years so I tried it again to see if it still makes me break out and uh, it does so uh, that's what we're working with today this is supposed to be hypoallergenic SPF 20 which personally for me SPF 20 is not enough I put on SPF 50 every single day before I go in with any foundation or tinted moisturizer regardless of if it has SPF in it I just do that anyway. I'm just going to squeeze this on the back of my hand It's supposed to come out in like one side Ooh. 
So as you can tell, one side there is the foundation and the other side has the weird like gel consistency concealer. I think this will be a good shade for me at the moment. I'm just going to like mix this on the back of my hand and I'm just going to like place this with my finger before going in with a brush. It does have, I want to say it smells like white out. And then I'm just going to blend this in with my It Cosmetic Heavenly Skin Brush. So I always wear SPF. I feel like SPF is going to be, or like tanning is going to be like how smoking is now. Where in like 20 years... Our kids will see people like laying out tanning and they'll be like, ew, that's so like 2000s. You know what I mean? Ooh, this is giving me a really nice glowy, healthy complexion. I would say it's kind of similar to the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. Um, I would say it's light to medium coverage. I'm not getting really like a full coverage. So I'm just going to do one more pump. And then that's probably all I'm going to do for today. I believe it comes with one ounce of product. Yeah, one fluid ounce of product, which is crazy because the bottle itself looks huge. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I feel like people who let go to the tanning bed nowadays, it's like... I get tanning. I feel like it's always going to be a thing. Like, obviously, I love to look tan. But like, okay, when the eclipse happened, everybody ran out and bought their glasses because so many doctors and people were saying, you know, yeah, you can look at it, but like in 50 years or in 20 years, like you can get blind patches or blind spots in your eyes. So you need to wear these glasses. It's like, okay, if you look at the sun once when it's doing the eclipse and it has the ability to do that to your eyes think about what laying out in the sun for hours of the day or going to a tanning bed which is even worse you know staying in there for 20 minutes which is basically equivalent to laying outside in the real sun for like nine hours think of what it can do to your skin okay so this is what we are working with i actually really like the finish of it i feel like once it is powdered I think I will like it even more. It has a nice glowy uh, finish. Um, again, I would say it's pretty, uh, maybe medium coverage, but I still see my acne spots. You can still see my freckles through this. Some would probably consider this like a light uh, coverage. I would say it probably has the coverage of something like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. Um, but yeah, so that is what we are working with so far. I don't really notice any scent on my face. Uh, it is a tiny bit tacky, but that could be because of my primer that I use. I use the Hangover RX primer. Um, it's not drying down to a powder finish at all. Um, but I really like the nice, like, healthy glow to it. I think it's really, um, pretty. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off of camera, and then I will come back to do a, another update. Okay, I have finished all my makeup. So far, I'm really liking this. This, um... It hasn't settled too much. Let's see. I don't have any dryness, so I have a lot of dryness on my nose. And typically when I use a very mattifying foundation, it kind of enhances and almost creates like a cracking look. Um, I don't have a lot of dryness. Not too bad, but like I can typically tell when I get up close. I would say it hasn't really settled into anything like that. Um... I typically have foundation crease right here. The Healthy Elixir CoverGirl one always does that on me after, you know, like a 30 minutes or something. Um, this hasn't creased as hard as that one, 
but I would say it has a little, just like a tiny bit. But honestly, I have foundations that I love that crease harder in this little smile line right here. And honestly, I feel like on camera you can't even really tell. Um, I do have a few lines up here. Um, but so far it's looking good. So far it's looking really nice and really glowy. I will see you guys after the workout with my final, final update. All right, bye. Back from my workout, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a, definitely a sweaty one today. I actually had my Apple Watch try and call 911 about five times because it thought that I was having a heart attack. So if that tells you anything, it was a hard workout. So I just took a look at my face in natural lighting and I really, really like the finish of this. I feel like honestly, with as much as I have sweat, I feel like it has kept like I'm not super shiny right now, but I will say, let me zoom you guys in. So I don't know if you can see, but it has sort of creased in my fine lines. And again, that could just be the combination of like the sweat and the foundation and everything. Let me turn up the lights a little bit. Um, also, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of, breaking up on my chin area kind of like right in this area um again sorry about my acne um but it has sort of settled into this area a bit and kind of looks a little weird around here but i will say that i do actually really like this finish and you know, I'm going to have to wear this foundation more to see if it breaks up on its own naturally or if it's breaking up because I am sweating, it is really hot, you know, is it the powder? Yeah, uh, so far I really like this foundation. Um, again, I'm going to have to try it a few more times just to see how the tanner works on my face, if it does kind of leave my face with a nice little glow and kind of helps it catch up to the rest of my body for when I am self tan and my face is kind of fading. So I will either again update you guys in the little description box down below or I may pop on here in a few days and let you guys know, you know, what I think about it. But so far for first impression, I am really liking it. I think the finish is absolutely beautiful. Hi guys, so it is later in the day. I came back from my workout, I took a shower, and I ended up putting back on the same foundation that I was reviewing. I have taken a nap, I've been cooking dinner, and I've probably had this current foundation that is on my face right now. I've had that on for about six hours, six and a half hours. So this is what it looks like with a tiny bit more where I felt like it wasn't totally a great review if I only put it on and then wore it to a workout which was like in total probably two and a half hours. So this is what it looks like after about six hours and I'm definitely a bit shinier. Um, I haven't really noticed, um, maybe I do have a little bit of breaking up right in here but I think it still looks good I like the finish of my skin I will say though that if you are oily um, I may stay away from this foundation just looking in a mirror after I look after six hours I think that if you have uh, you know oily skin that this probably won't work for you. I have drier skin, but I will say I don't really have a ton of dry patches. I just feel like my skin doesn't produce a ton of oil anymore. So I guess you could say I have normal skin. I do get oily mainly around this um, T-zone area up here, but my nose is typically pretty dry. My cheeks pretty much stay the same. So if I do get oil, it's probably around here and uh, up here, but I don't look excessively shiny. Again, my breakouts are getting worse, so excuse that. I did notice that I feel like the self-tanner 
was slowly changing the color of my skin. I have done this before where I have put on a self tanner and then I will put makeup over it and it does sort of get darker throughout the day which is what a normal self tanner would do kind of changes the color of your skin I'm not sure how much I can tell on camera but I did notice it in person it just seems darker so I would say that the self tanning part of this does work so those are my final thoughts on the foundation I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um, it helps me see what videos you guys like and what videos you want more of Hopefully soon there should be some more fitness videos. I know I've fallen off the train when it comes to figuring out workouts and at home workouts. I've just been kind of lazy and I've really been liking doing these uh, makeup videos. So yeah, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.